Hey loves, Mahania here, and today I'm showing you how to make your own shaker pocket. So, I have a video up already on how to get images from Pinterest. So, I'll leave the link for that video so you can see how I got these images. I'm going to be using the picture in the bottom right hand corner. So, I'm sizing it to 3.5 by 3.5 which is the exact size of the adhesive pocket I'm going to be using. So just size your picture accordingly. Then you want to print the image. And if you watch my Pinterest video, you will see why I have so many images on this page, even though I'm not using them to make shaker pockets. So after you print it, your image, then you have your sheet of paper. I'm gonna shade my image in to match my skin tone and hair color, so I'm using my Copic markers. You're going to need an adhesive runner or some type of clear adhesive or glue. You will also need an adhesive pocket. I have a DIY adhesive pocket video I will link below as well. You will need a pair of scissors and the glitters of your choice. So I'm going to begin by shading my picture in. And next I will be placing the adhesive pocket over the picture. And you wanna make sure you line it up exactly. And if you have the DIY adhesive pocket, you wanna adhere the adhesive to the back of the pocket not the picture because you may rip the picture so put all of your glue or adhesive onto the pocket and then lay it onto your picture so now you're going to cut carefully around the pocket you do not want to cut into the pocket because then your glitter will leak out so once you get your picture all cut out then you can take the glitter of your choice. I have three different glitter containers here and they are from the Recollections brand. I purchased them at Michaels and each of these containers have six different glitters in them. So I'm going to be using a copper color as well as two different pink shades. I just want to use the copper because it has like a fall kind of feel to it and then the pinks bring out the pinks in the background of this picture. So I will make other shaker pockets and post them on my Instagram just so you can get an idea of different pockets that you can make. I see that, you know, the one that I chose to make is a quite busy background. So I will post the other pockets on my Instagram just to give you an idea of the variety of shaker pockets that you can make using these adhesive pockets. Once you get your desired amount of glitter in the pocket, then you want to just shake it around and make sure you like the combination of colors and just to make sure that you have the right amount of glitter in your pocket. I only chose to put the glitter towards the bottom and only put a little bit of glitter because I want to be able to see the full artwork that is in the picture. So once you get all of your glitter in, you're going to take your adhesive roller or some glue a clear glue would actually be better if you do not want to use washi tape at the top and you just want to seal the opening with a thin layer of adhesive or glue and this will prevent your glitter from falling out and because I wasn't able to seal all the way across the opening I will be using washi tape to tape off the top and I'm just using a piece of foiled copper colored washi tape that I got at um, Michaels and so I'm going to place it at the top trim it down and fold it over the back side
And here is the Finish Shaker Pocket. It is absolutely beautiful and super easy to make. And you can definitely make this with your scrapbook paper. Like I said, just check out my Instagram and I will have those pictures up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with the color combination that I have going on in my personal planner. If you want to place this in your personal planner, then you want to fold it about a quarter inch away from the edge and then you can just slide it down into the front pocket. However, I'm going to be putting this inside my A5. So this is what it looks like if you just want to clip it to your A5 with the paper clip. And this is what it looks like inserted in there. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Extravaglam. I hope that this tutorial was very easy to follow, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.